We now return for another Adventures in Critiquing with Empty Brook and guest narrator Heaton Mitsuru. So before we delve into this one, a little context is required. I run a group on DeviantArt called Comic Creators and Fans. This is what's known as a draw-only group. This means that submissions can only be one of three things. They have to be either drawn by the person submitting the image, colored by the person submitting the image, at which point the sketch artist and or line artist needs to be credited, or commissioned from another artist, and they're in owned by the submitting party. The group doesn't accept pixel art, 3D art, collage work, doll maker images, photo manipulation, dreamcasting images, written stories, or traced art. With that now stated, this was an image submitted to the group. The following is the exchange I had with the submitting party. This group does not accept collage work. What do you mean by collage work? This is a comic group and I posted a comic. Collage, noun, a piece of art made by sticking various different materials such as photographs and pieces of paper or fabric onto a backing. The art of making collages, a combination or collection of various things. You didn't draw that drum set, you didn't draw any of those instruments, you didn't draw that martini, you didn't draw the decoration on the table, and that makes me skeptical as to whether or not you even drew those characters. Comic creators and fans as a group only accepts work that is either drawn by you, colored by you, and drawn by someone else, at which point you have to credit the artist in the description of the piece, or commissioned by you from another artist and therein owned by you. I already rejected your Mary Jane and Peter Parker wedding piece for this same reason, so you should be very much aware that work of this nature is not accepted. Your work looks traced and contains assets from all over the place, and considering most of your work is marked as being commission work, going to flat out tell you that that's illegal. Even if some of the assets are free to use, I can plainly see that you have Disney backgrounds in some pieces, and I'm very much aware that those are not free to use. None of the work in your gallery is permissible. First of all, all the things I used can be found free in internet. Second, I put the reference links, and I'll have you know that many groups here in DeviantArt have a resources folder just because many people make their materials available. About illegality, which you know nothing about, you must know that when somebody buys a DVD or Blu-ray, bought a product and the copyright is paid at the source, with your reasoning, even drawings made entirely by hand work would be illegal if the problem are the things created by someone else, characters, or background. Why digital is illegal and traditional not? DeviantArt lives thanks to the fan arts. No, it's DeviantArt lives thanks to the fan arts. Fuck. DeviantArt lives thanks to the fan arts. And if the things were the way you say, it would have already closed. I assure you that it's much more illegal show superheroines almost naked, like in you gallery. See the link. Please note that this link goes to the miscellaneous publishers folder of comic creators and fans, if I'm correct, which contains characters like Lady Death and Vampirella. Or scene of violence which are show continuously in many legal comics. Anyway, I'm leaving your group. I'm not interested in envious and hypocritical people. Oh no, I'm sorry, hypocritical people, yeah, sorry, fucking, I'm dumb. Bye. That's the Mary Jane and Peter Parker wedding piece that was rejected before. And about my work, I put the reference links. Before accusing, read it. I accused it of using assets that you didn't draw. It does. Your references even prove that. Therein, not welcome in a drawn-only group. And the reference links? Here. What are these? Horse shit? They are links to free-to-use assets, which you didn't draw, hence not allowed. 3D modeling work is rejected for the same reason. So that's the end of that thread, but as I'm sure you can see from the video length, we are not even close to being done. After this, I received a bunch of notifications from the same user. Some of these notifications covered a journal that they wrote tagging me, which was then posted into different groups. The accuses of Empty Brook are totally infounded. This person tried to play the same trick with me, and I posted a journal about it. Here's the link. MC Brooke is an envious person and even petty and the first duty of a founder of a group is make sure of the facts before banned someone. Another was a comment they posted in a different group I run, All Year October. You have to wait a while to join because the founder is busy looking for artists to be accused of plagiarism. 
and yet another was a comment that they posted on a journal of mine that was on my profile page at the time. The comments branch off into a few different threads, so in order to make things as concise and easy to understand as possible, we'll start with the journal they wrote and the responses on that, then we'll break away to the comment thread on my journal, and then we'll come back to this one. Sorry, but all of the comment threads were happening at the same time, and I need to jump around at least a little bit since a few things mentioned in one comment thread end up getting brought up in another. Are we all illegal by sunny day 2000? Hi to everyone! I rarely write a journal, but this time I do it because it happens something unpleasant that concerns us all. A few days ago, I posted one of my work in a group and it was declined. Okay, no problem! Yesterday I posted another one and the founder, Empty Brook, writes to me that he cannot accept it because it is against the rules of the group. His group is about comics and I wanted to post a page of a comic made by me. I asked him for explanations and he replied that I use other people's materials to do the back backgrounds and some objects, and considering that many of my works are commissions, I would be acting in the illegality. <laughs> I would be acting in the illegality. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> considering that many of my works are commissions, I would be acting in the illegality. I often use free resources made available, so here in DeviantArt, but I always put the reference link. However, this person accuses me of plagiarism and illegality also for drawing fan art. Now I wonder what is the purpose of DeviantArt? That of allowing to the artists to show their works that they are their own drawings or fan arts from cartoons, anime, movies, singers, etc. So I ask you why a traditional fan art is okay and a digital fan art not. Why if I buy a t-shirt with a Disney character? I wear it and walk around is okay, but if I take a screenshot from a movie of a DVD or Blu-ray that I have regularly bought and use as a background instead no, then I could not even wear the t-shirt. I knew that some time ago, this guy had banned another artist from DeviantArt, accused him of plagiarism, instead he had only drawn some Spider-Man character with reference to some famous movie. Is this plagiarism? No! Is a quote is a tribute to a known movie. Unfortunately, there were founders of other groups who kicked him out without making sure how the facts really were. Following his absurd reasoning, Andy Warhol too can be accused of plagiarism. In fact, for Empty Brook are illegal. The fan arts draftsmen because they draw characters not created by them. The fan fiction writers because they write about characters not created by them. The cosplayers because they interpret characters not created by them. In short, all of us in the site DeviantArt are illegal. But this rule can also apply to him because in his group there are folders dedicated to Marvel, DC, Disney, etc. That is his characters and brands not create by him, so he's guilty to criminal solicitation. You use that word, I don't, I don't think it means what you think it means. He never asked himself what determines the success of a cartoon, a movie, a comic, etc. The interest and the enthusiasm of the fans. Is maybe illegal to share this enthusiasm with a drawing that represent it? I don't think so. Indeed, it's all free advertising. Can you imagine a world without music, movies, cartoons, anime, TV, series, comics, etc. because everything is illegal, it would be very sad. And if they were fans, tried to follow the singers, the cartoons, the anime, the movies, etc., what would copyright owners do? They would immediately be on the street. Empty Brook had better worry about his problems of resentment towards others instead of attacking who did nothing to him. That is literally not what I told you. I explicitly said that while you may use free-to-use assets on some of your commissions, I recognize a few with backgrounds from Disney movies, which were not free-to-use assets. Therein, you were selling something, the background of the piece, that you didn't have rights to. I also told you that my group only accepts work that has been either drawn by the submitting party, colored by them and drawn by someone else, then credited, or commissioned from another artist and therein owned by you. The free-to-use assets in your pieces were not drawn by you. They directly go against the core rules of the group. That's why they they were rejected. I even explained this to you in the comment on the first submission that was rejected, so I don't know why you thought submitting another piece with the same problems would work. Also yes, selling copyrighted work is illegal, that is actually a thing. Creating and selling derivative works of copyrighted characters is illegal. It's just that companies don't tend to care unless it affects their bottom line, at which point they issue cease and desists. I suggest listening to these videos for more information. I'll link those videos in the description if anybody else is interested in them. Your scenario about the shirt versus the copied background doesn't make sense. The shirt 
shirt would have been licensed to sell images of the copyrighted character. When you buy a shirt, there's no illegal transaction because permission for the character to be used on the shirt would have already been given by the company, unless it was a bootleg. Taking a screenshot from a movie is you repurposing an image that you don't own without the permission of the company that owns it, and then selling that image within a commission as the background. That's illegal. I'm also aware of the person that you're referring to, to whom I banned from DeviantArt. For one thing, no, I didn't ban him. I don't have that power. I did go through his gallery, find as many pieces that I could recognize, find the originals, and then overlay them in Photoshop to see if they were traced, which they were. I then went to groups that he was submitting to and notified them of this, showing them the traced images. He then deactivated that account and moved to another one. It doesn't matter if fan art is illegal. My group specifically operates on the notion that if you drew it or own it, then you can submit it. You don't own the assets you use, therefore you can't submit. Simple. With that in mind, I don't know why you submitted collage work to a draw-only group, nor why you continued to submit pieces after I told you that the group doesn't accept work that isn't drawn by you. You already lost your memory? Well, I report you- I report to you totally- Well, I report to you totally what you have me wrote. None of the work in your gallery is permissible, and now you write some of my commissions? Like all cowards, you already changes your version. If it only concerns only your group, why you wrote traced art in another group? I refresh your memory. What they're linking to here is a journal from one of the groups, Spider-Man Villains, that I told about the tracer they said I got banned. I'll link to that in the description. About Hobgoblin 42? You made the spy because you intent was to have him banned. What do you think you're kidding about my illegal works? I'll let you know that I made by myself the background of this my fan art. And you that are a great expert didn't even notice. But who are you? A deviant art vigil aunties? And if you are full of work to do, you take the time reconstruct it meticulously the traced art of others? I'm not angry for the rules of your group, but about what you have wrote to me. If you do not like the works of others, it is okay your opinion. But if you do the informer, you show to everyone how petty you are. Time for a repeat. <clears throat> you didn't draw that drum set, you didn't draw any of those instruments, you didn't draw that martini, you didn't draw the decoration on the table, and that makes me skeptical as to whether or not you even drew those characters. Comic creators and fans as a group only accepts work that is either drawn by you, colored by you, and drawn by someone else, at which point you have to credit the artist in the description of the piece, or commissioned by you from another artist in there and owned by you. I already rejected your Mary Jane and Peter Parker wedding piece for the same reason, so you should be very much aware that the work of this nature is not accepted. Your work looks trace and contains assets from all over the place, and considering most of your work is marked as being commissioned work, going to flat out tell you that that's illegal. Even if some of the assets are free to use, I can plainly see that you have Disney backgrounds in some pieces and I am very much aware that those are not free to use. None of the work in your gallery is permissible. I can plainly see that you have Disney backgrounds in some pieces and I'm very much aware that those are not free to use. Gee, this almost looks like I specifically cited images that used backgrounds that were screenshots from movies that were not free to use assets as being the most troubling aspect of your commission work. Weird! None of the work in your gallery is permissible because you use free to use assets, which the group you tried to submit to doesn't accept, as it's a draw only group. I reported Hobgoblin42, that, that's the guy, because he was tracing. I confronted him on his page, telling him that if he was going to use images, then he should credit them. He removed my comment, the piece the comment was on, and the pieces I cited as examples of his traced work, and then continued to trace, so I notified the groups that he was in that he was tracing. My intent was to notify the groups he was in because not everyone is fond of tracers and they should be aware. People don't like it when others pretend that something that someone else drew slash photographed is theirs. It's not an issue if you actually credit the pieces. Wow, one piece that you supposedly drew yourself. Too bad I wasn't talking about this piece when I rejected the work you submitted to my group, nor was I talking about this piece when I cited the commissions using Disney movie stills as backgrounds. Too bad the existence of one image with a background that you claim to have drawn yourself doesn't doesn't negate you selling commissions with artwork in the background that you don't own. Too bad I found some traced images of Typhoid Mary in your gallery, kinda weird considering you flipping out about my thinking that your work looks traced, wonder how many other pieces I can find if I try. Also if you drew that background, that just makes me more suspicious of the rest of your work, because the character still doesn't match the background or look like they were actually drawn to be in that scene, which is a constant theme across all of your pieces, which is what indicated to me that the figures in the images might be traced. You contradicted yourself with your own words. It's just that companies don't tend to care unless it affects their bottom line. Exactly. So what does it have to do with it? Maybe I used a screenshot from your movie? Selling copyrighted works is illegal. Here we aren't talking about 
sales, but about the use. So you think the animated GIF and the avatars about movies are illegal too? My group specifically operates on the notion that blah blah blah, but Spider-Man villains isn't your group. So why you snitched in great detail about the works of another artist? About the traced. If I omitted some of them, it's because I haven't even found them yet, and I often update my page when I find them again. If we talk about the if we talk about rules, put the ideologically sensitive fig- <sighs> Fuck. Figure? What? I can't fucking read. You can't fucking write, so now I can't fucking read. This is fucking bullshit. <laughs> if we talk about rules, put the ideologically sensitive filter on your work because it scares the children, and even you trying to change it is clearly art traced from Predator. However, you haven't answered me yet. Who are you to judge the others? Just because the company doesn't care unless it affects their bottom line, primarily because I sincerely doubt they're aware that you or I even exist, doesn't mean that I don't care about it. I don't like people using assets that they didn't draw in their own work and not making note that they didn't draw it. I think it's dishonest and I'm not going to allow it in my group. Simple. Companies, like Disney, will also shut down artists selling their work in convention halls. I've seen it happen. I imagine it's more likely to happen if the artist is using assets owned by Disney in the first place, hence the warning. And no, from my original response, creating and selling derivative works of copyrighted characters is illegal. Creating and selling. I don't know about the legality of gifts specifically, but maybe. I snitched about Hobgoblin42 because, as I said, not a lot of people like when others trace from someone else's work and pass it off as their own, which is what Hobgoblin Goblin 42 was doing. The groups he was in didn't know that he was doing this. They have to be aware of the practice for them to give an informed pass on it. I notified the groups he was in so that they knew the situation and to give them the choice as to whether or not they wanted to include his traced work in their galleries. About the traced, if I omitted some of them, it's because I haven't found them again and often I update my page when I find them again. So you admit that there's likely more stuff in your gallery that's traced. I've also now pointed this out to you and as I'm typing this, I'm checking the Typhoid Mary pieces that you've traced and I'm not seeing an update in the description for either of them. In fact, I've recognized a lot of pieces that I suspect are traced, and I've checked the descriptions for them, and there hasn't been any sort of notice about this. This isn't even a predator mouth. I also drew this piece in a live stream. If DeviantArt came to me and told me to put a sensitivity warning on that piece, I would, because it's their site. You submitted to my group. I decide what's allowed. Assets that you didn't draw yourself, aren't allowed. I gave you the benefit of the doubt because I couldn't immediately tell whether or not the characters in your pieces were traced, just that based on what I was seeing, they looked traced. But the pieces were rejected because of the free-to-use assets, which aren't allowed in my group. I also did this privately within the submissions for this piece to notify you of this. Now that you've decided to be publicly upset about it and spread a misconstruing of the situation, I've looked deeper into your gallery and have been able to find images that are directly traced over official work. I've also shown this by overlaying the images. Your response is to grab something in my gallery that you assume is traced without proof and to spread that in a public comment. Uh-huh. Who are you to judge others? The owner of the group you submitted your work to. Thus, the person who judges whether it gets in based on the rules of the group. And with that, we're going to jump over to the other thread for a bit. Traveling. BRB, going to Atlanta, Georgia for Momocon. Be back in about a week. Later, Gators. And while traveling around the world, you find the time to blame the others for plagiarism? You have the time to rage on my page about it, despite the fact that I flat out told you that images with assets not drawn by you are not welcome in the groups that I run. It literally says on the journal on the front page of the group, this group only accepts work that you have either drawn yourself or commissioned from others and therein own. It's not my fault that you joined and tried to submit to a group that, based on its rules, would not accept your work. Don't play with words and don't play dumb with me. You are a bully and in bad faith. Reflect on what I have wrote. You limit the freedom of DeviantArt. I limit the freedom of my group because I run it and I'm allowed to. Do you also complain when you submit to 3D modeling groups and they reject your pieces? The other group didn't accuse me of illegality. I pointed out that you were illegally selling pieces with assets that you don't have permission to sell because I thought you would run into problems from it. There's a huge difference between drawing a copyrighted character that you don't own for a commission upon request versus using assets from products that you don't have the rights to, including official artwork of those characters and properties that you don't own the rights to, and then selling them as a commission. I'm sure there are plenty of groups that wouldn't point this out to you, either because they don't care, because they don't recognize the issue, or because they simply don't know about 
about the legal issues. I do, and therein if you're submitting to my group, I'm going to point this out to you and reject your work on those grounds. Frankly, I don't care if another group didn't point this out to you. It doesn't suddenly mean that you're there and given a pass in my group. Pretend you don't understand? I don't give a damn about the rules of your group. Who are you to judge the others? Do you want to answer me? And did you put the filter in your work? Don't you know it's illegal to scare the children? <laughs> <laughs> it's illegal to scare the children. Jesus fuck. Well, if you don't give a damn about the rules of my group, that's tough luck. Still means you can't submit. Who are you to judge others? The owner of the group you tried to submit to. It's not illegal to scare children. Of course it's illegal. They can carry a trauma for years. That would be emotional distress and you would have to prove that in a court of law. And then denounce me if you have balls. So we'll also talk about your traced predator. Actually, I didn't denounce you originally. Public acknowledgement of your tracing on my end only happened after you made the journal. So what, you want a public journal or something? Except I didn't. You haven't even made an effort to showcase that. Even if you did, I think it would be rather difficult considering that mouth design isn't from Predator. Just to make it easy on you, the vampire creature I was told to draw a mouth from for this image is from a movie called Blade. It's a peace offering? Are you asking if I'm giving a peace offering? Ugh, forget it! Alright, and back to the other thread. Blah, 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 blah! You always repeat the same things because you have no valid arguments. You are ignorant and conceited. You can't grammatically construct a fucking sentence, but you can spell conceited correctly. I'm so fucking mad. I'm so fucking angry. It's fine. It's fine. Uh-huh. What happens? Do you pull back? Are you asking if I concede to your points? No, I've been going through your gallery. I have concrete knowledge of your tracing now. I ain't backing down on that. There's just not much to say when you blatantly gloss over or ignore the things I make note of and go on long diatribes that either aren't related to the initial issue or try to discredit me as a critic of your work. What should I do then? Continue to repeat myself ad nauseum? Seems boring. When I talk about you character, you aren't so aggressive. What character? The character that I drew or my character as a person? Would you prefer I amp up the aggression? This character. I noticed that the flower he has in his mouth looks like the one from the new adventures of Flash Gordon. Well, two aren't traced in what? So you want to see my aggression? Lol, still not traced. I even pointed out what the mouth is from. This is pretty sad if you're trying to make this accusation convincing. I imagine that the journal was your aggression. Don't play with fire anymore, boy, okay? LOL, pretty confident for someone who wasn't able to prove their accusations. Oh great, another split comment thread, one at a time, here we go. Go now and try to go straight. Sorry, I'm bi. Going straight is gonna be pretty difficult. Why don't you denounce me? Hey everyone! This guy traces and pretends like they don't. They are also apparently salty when someone gets that vibe from their work. They also probably immediately go on the defense about their work because they're aware that it's traced and so need to discredit the critic because they can't actually defend what they do. Will all that work for you? Not here in court. Alright, sue me. It's you who must to sue me. Come on, boy. That's not how that works. I made an accusation about your work that you claim is unfounded. You haven't slighted me. You always repeat the same things and don't answer to the question. You didn't ask a question. You told me to sue you and I said that wasn't viable. Why isn't viable? Now I want to know. Check the other comment thread. Answer to my question. I did. In the other comment thread. You're pathetic. Thanks. And back we go. Sorry if you're getting whiplash. I have the evidence. You're drawing. And don't try to make it disappear. I keep it. But why you don't denounce me? Lol, I have no intention of deleting non-traced pieces of artwork that some rando wants to claim or traced but provides no evidence of because they're salty I didn't put their collage piece in a draw-only group and want to try to discredit me as a result. Get over yourself. Yours is traced art. I already told you, don't play dumb with me. If you have all evidences against me, why don't you denounce me? Why, why do you keep saying denounce me. I'm so- Ponder, I'm so fucking confused. I don't think you know how proof of tracing works. See this? This is proof of tracing, because they match up. Like, exactly. It's kind of pathetic, honestly. You claiming that something is traced from things that the image wasn't even based on? This ain't it, fam. So you have to sue me! What do you even think I would sue you for? Before you wrote that, I'll have a trauma in court. So let me sue. You're sure. You have the evidences. So go on. Enjoy your trauma. Still not how a lawsuit of that nature works. 
Instead, yes, you talked about a process. I repeat, if you are so sure, why don't you sue me? Because the lawsuit would have to be issued by a person affected by your actions, i.e. either the person you sold the commission to because it was potentially sold under false pretenses or the company that owns the work being used because that's how that works. But what nonsense are you raving about? Illegality is a crime, call the FBI. FBI doesn't issue lawsuits last time I checked. You're just a little scary coward. You don't have the courage of your actions. You're only able to threaten, but in terms of action, you can't do anything. You disgust me, spoiled and fearful little boy. I dragged you in this discussion because I wanted to see if you have the balls, and now you don't know what stories to invent. What a disappointment. I thought I found a valid opponent instead of you confirm a stupid little boy. Come on, snotty kid, put your threats in the practice if you have courage. In terms of actions, I was certainly able to reject your art from my group. I didn't even threaten you, I think you need to take your meds. But look at yourself, you keep repeating the same things. So let's reach some conclusion. You accuse me of illegality and art traced, and I tell you, then denounce me. But at this point, you pull back. You have shown everyone how stupid you are. Oscar Wilde said there's no point to arguing with an idiot. You'll lose because he has more experience in idiocy than you. So I leave you to your fate as a looser. By the way, I put the reference of Oscar Wilde. It's okay. Why does this guy keep asking me to denounce him? Let's see. Denounce. Publicly declare to be wrong or evil. Inform against. Okay. Boop. This user's name is SunnyDay2000, and they trace art. I mean, geez, if a journal wouldn't have worked, I certainly hope this video is up to their standards. Yeah, I bet you guys were wondering why none of the screenshots were censored. Surprise! I'd be lying if I said that I don't expect Sunny Day to get uppity about this video, but they blocked me. I can't see it. What do I care? I have other way more interesting, beautiful, and not blatantly fucking trace things to care about in the form of the amazing artwork that you guys have drawn for me, and that's what I choose to focus on! First up, we have Ponder Wonder by Carnation Kiata. Fact checks. Ooh, gosh damn, I love the vibrant pinks on this one. Paired with the yellows on Kiata's character in the background, it makes everything so bright and fun. Readying to school you is Class is in Session by Scottish Soul, where I suppose Ponder Sprocket has taken up a teaching job in facts. Oh goodness, and there are little stem and fiend plushies on the desk. Precious. About to burst from the lack of effort put into Sunny Day's arguments, we have Not to Impress Tom by Vivo Monster. Pretty accurate, honestly. Hey, but at least I get to make a video out of stuff like this, and it gives me a theme to feature this fan art. Here to be your angelic fact providers, it's Angel and Ponder by Angel Courtney Fox. Join me, cuties. We shall dispel misinformation in the name of the moon. Looks like even Fiend is trying his best to sign some facts with his tentacles. Which is something we can see further in He's Contributing and Doing Great by Toxic Troubadour. Raise of hands if this is stupid? Thought so. Fiend's trying so hard and his efforts are appreciated. Ooh, Ponder Sparkle with earrings. I should draw that more. Looking nice here. Sending some confusing signals, we have Give Bad Evidence Part 1 and 2 by Dear Gross Prince. Give bad evidence and I'll eat your ass. This will probably make people just provide bad evidence on purpose. Keeps things interesting. More content, I guess. I mean, based on the three adventures and critiquing episodes that basically fell into my lap within the same week. Yeah, you weren't wrong on that in the slightest. I should heed the warnings of my prophetic cuties, apparently. Some people just want to watch the world burn in This Is Fine by Lunastars34. That expression is so relatable. Actually, based on what I've been dealing with this month. Yeah, the whole piece is hella relatable. Art's meant to convey a feeling, and this definitely conveys something in me. About 100% done with your bowl, we have How Are You This Stupid by Hazy Brian. I definitely enjoy Ponder Sprague with painted nails, can I just say? Definitely need to draw that more. Also, her nose just poking out from her hair like that is very on point and I love it. Pulling out the Thanos memes is Who's Next by the Willow Fox 22. There you go, Willow Fox. Maybe I partially answered that question with this video. Ah, but I have a sneaking suspicion we're not even close to being done. Better refill my tears tea. And finally, we have a four-parter with the Diamonds by Atri. Based on the story's drama, we have Ponder Sprocket done up like Rose Quartz from Steven Universe, with Atari as Pink Diamond, Penegrin as Yellow Diamond, and Stories as Blue Diamond. Or, I guess, pink, green, and white. A super gorgeous piece. Also, can I just say Pentagon's diamond outfit is fucking banging woodwear? If you like any of these lovely pieces, please remember to send that love the artist way through the links in the description. I also have a link to Heat and Mitsuru's channel in the description. Please give her some love too. Can't fucking believe. Can't fucking believe. Bitch quoted Oscar Wilde. It's fine.
It's fine. You can also find links to my own works down there, DeviantArt, to pass, whatever. Octomama out.